Jason Ballard, Michelle Thomason, Julie Kuschnick, Derek Rich, and Amy Donovan, and they will be followed by Candace o Tessa Hunt, Lori uh, Agold Rich, Laura Corman, Gaia Brooks, and Sydney Casey. David Rosa? My name is David Rosa. I'm Daniel's father. I'm from Senate District 26 on 4SB1. I represent myself and the Silent No More Awareness Campaign. I also am an Orthodox Catholic. Senators, what is the moral difference between what Dr. Gosnell did to a baby born alive at 23 weeks and aborting her moments before her birth? I participated in my first abortion in 1989 when my girlfriend who I was having an adulterous affair with became pregnant with another man. I knew I could not allow myself to be the father of an illegitimate child. However, since I wanted to continue my physical relationship with this young woman, I told her I would be the man that the father's baby could not be, and I helped her with her decision to abort the unwanted child. I remember everything about that day. I watched as she slowly walked from the death room of the abortuary. Well, before we got in the car, she started to vomit, and she told me she had acute abdominal pain. She was bleeding, but they told her that was to be expected. I fell into acute depression, alcoholism, and increased my drug use. I had multiple adulterous affairs with depravity of all sorts. I had a drive for money and power. I felt the more wealthy and powerful I became, the more distance I could put between me and my past. The reality was... One year later, when she became pregnant, this time it was my child. I viciously dragged her to an abortuary that she went running out of. I thought she was lying about being pregnant. The reality was I did not want to share or sacrifice anything, my time, my money, with anyone, not even a baby. I remember that day the abortuary was packed with women. She was crying. I did not react. When the baby was dead, I dropped her at her townhouse, returned to my house, and asked my wife what was for dinner. I tried to pretend that everything was normal, but it wasn't long after that before I hit rock bottom and checked myself into a rehab center. When I was released, I knew that I needed more help. I immediately went to confession with a Catholic priest. It took three consecutive days to complete my confession, but Mr. I felt... Rosa, I'm going to have to cut you off, but thank you for sharing your story with us. If I recall, there was a young man who testified earlier whose name was Rosa. That's my son, Daniel. You are to be complimented no. on, a, an, on an awesome son, and thank you for being here today. Ms. Ballard? My name is 